Geobyte. Hello students, welcome to Geobyte. In the previous video, we discussed about multiplication of decimal numbers. Today, let us solve exercise 2.6 problems. First one. Find in that first one 0 0.2 into 6. In order to perform multiplication by using a decimal numbers, first what we need to do is we need to eliminate the decimal point. The given question is 0 0.2 into 6. Now what we need to do is we need to eliminate the decimal point. So if you are eliminating decimal point, we need to remove the decimal point. If you are removing the decimal point, then we will get 2 into 6, which is equals to 12. In the given decimal number, after the decimal point, we are having only one digit. So, what we need to do is, whatever the result is there, if you are multiplying 2 into 6, we are getting 12. So, in 12, we need to move from right to left by one position and then we need to place the decimal point. So this is the last digit. So after this the last digit, if you are moving towards left, then we will get dot over here. Now we are getting the result as 1.2. So if you are multiplying 0 0.2 into 6, then we will get 1.2. This is one way of performing the multiplication. So and the second way is we can also calculate like so here we are having 0 0.2 into 6 which is equals to now in order to remove this decimal point I can divide it by using 10 why 10 because after the decimal point we are having only one digit so we are placing 1 0 into 6 which is equals to 12 by 10 so if we divide 12 by 10 then we'll get 1.2 so you can follow any one of the method like whichever you feel uh, easy, you can uh, go with that method. Next, second one. 8 into 4.6. Now 8 into 4.6. So 8 into 4.6, which is equals to 8 into. So we need to remove the decimal point. So if you are removing the decimal point, then we'll get 46. So if you are multiplying 8 and 46 then we'll get the result as 368 now so there is only one digit right to the decimal point in 4.6 that is 6 so we are having only one digit so what we need to do is we need to move from right to left means from right most position to we need to move left and we need to place the dot so we will get the 36.8 so the result of 8 into 4.6 is 36.8. Next. Two point seven one into five. Now this is the given decimal number. Now two point seven one into five which is equals to so what we need to do so we need to remove the decimal point so if you are removing the decimal point then we'll get 271 into 5 so if you multiply 271 into 5 then we'll get 1355 now so in the given decimal number that is 2.71 there are two digits right to the decimal point in 2.71 so we need to move from rightmost position to the leftmost position by two digits means one is five and one more is five and after that we we'll place the dot then we we'll get 13.55 so the result of 2.71 into 5 is 13.55 next fourth one 20.1 into 4 so 20.1 into 4 20.1 into 4 which is equals to 
So we need to eliminate the decimal point. So if you are eliminating the decimal point, then we'll get 201 into 4, which is equals to 804. Now there are one digit right to the decimal point in 20.1. So we are having only one digit. So we need to move from right to left means so 4 after 4 we are having 0 that is second digit. So we need to place that decimal point after the 4 whenever you are moving from right to left that is 80.4. Next fifth one 0 0.05 into 7. 0. 0 0.05 into 7 which is equals to we need to remove the decimal point if you remove the decimal point then we will get 5 into 7 so 5 7 sir 35 5 7 sir 35 we will get 35 so there are two digits right to the decimal point in 0 0.05 so there are two digits in the right side right to the decimal point 0 5 so we need to move from right to left by two positions that is first one is fifth position then second one is third so after the third we need to place the dot so we'll get 0 0.35 so the result of 0 0.05 into 7 is 0 0.35 next sixth one 211 point 0 2 into 4 2 1 1. 0 2 into 4 which is equals to so here we need to remove the decimal point so if we are removing the decimal point then we'll get 2 1 1 0 2 that is 21,102 into 4 then we'll get 84408 if we multiply 21102 with 4 then we'll get 84408 there are two digits right to the decimal point into 11.02 so there are only two digits so we need to move from right to left by two positions and we need to place the decimal point this is the decimal point so we'll get 844.08 so the result of 211.02 into 4 is 844.08. Next seventh one. 2 into 0 0.86. 2 into 0 0.86. Which is equal. So if you remove the decimal point then we get 2 into 86 which is equals to if we multiply both then we'll get 172 so there are two digits after the decimal point in the given decimal number 0 0.86 so we need to move from right to left by two positions then we need to place the decimal point that is something but we'll get 1.72 so the result of 2 into 0 0.86 is 1.72 Next, moving to the question number 2. Find the area of rectangle whose length is 5.7 cm and breadth is 3 cm. Solution. Given that length is equals to 5.7 cm breadth is equals to 3 centimeter so what we need to calculate so we need to calculate we need to find the area of the rectangle so area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is equal to so area of the rectangle is length into breadth so what is the length length is 5.7 centimeters into 
breadth is 3 cm. So if we multiply both, we'll get 17.1 cm square. So hence, required area is equals to 17.1 cm square. So if the length is 5.7 cm and breadth is 3 cm, then the area of the rectangle is 17.1 cm square. Point three into ten. So one point three into ten. So in the previous videos, we discussed about multiplication of decimal numbers by ten, hundred, and thousand. We observed that on multiplying a decimal by ten the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place. So what we observe on multiplying a decimal by 10 the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place. So we observed that on multiplying a decimal by 10, the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place. So we have 1.3 into 10. So if we multiply, then we'll get 13. The decimal point is shifted by one position. So we'll get 13 or 13.0. Next, second one. 8 into 10. So in this problem also we are multiplying with 10. So on multiplying a decimal by 10, the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place. So 36.8 into 10, which is equals to, we'll get 368. So we are shifting the decimal point by one position towards right. So we'll get 368 or 368.0. Both are correct. Next. 153.7 into 10. So here also multiplying the decimal number with 10. So we need to shift the decimal point by one position. We have 153.7 into 10, which is equals to 1,537 or 1,537.0. Next fourth one, 168.07 into 10. We have 168.07 into 10, which is equals to so if you multiply, we need to shift the decimal point by one position. Then we'll get 1680.7. Right? If you multiply 168.07 into 10, then we'll get 1680.7. Next, fifth one. 31.1 into 100. In the previous video, we discussed about multiplication of decimal numbers by 100 and we observed that on multiplying a decimal by 100 the decimal point is 
shifted to the right by two places. We observe that. On multiplying a decimal by hundred, the decimal point is shifted to the right by two places. So we have 31.1 into 100 which is equals to so we need to shift the decimal point by two positions. We are having 31.1. So if we shift one time, then we'll get 311. After that, we need to shift one more time. So there is no digit. That's why we need to add zero. So we'll get 3110. So if we multiply 31.1 with 100, then we need to shift the decimal point by two places towards the right side. Then we'll get the result. Next, sixth one, 156.1 into 100. So we have 156.1 into 100. So in this problem also, we are multiplying with 100. Whenever you are multiplying with 100, then we need to shift the decimal point by two places towards right. Then we'll get 15,610. Next seventh one, 3.62 into 100. So in this problem also we are multiplying with 100. So whenever you are multiplying a decimal by 100, the decimal point is shifted to the right by two places. We have 3.62 into 100. So if you are multiplying, then we'll get 362. So the decimal point is shifted by two positions. Or we can say that 362. 43.07 we have 43.07 into 100 so then we'll get 4307 so we need to shift the decimal point by two positions so we'll get so 4307 or 4307 point zero next ninth one 0.5 into 10 we have 0 0.5 into 10 is equals to on multiplying a decimal by 10 the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place so we'll get 5 0 0.08 into 10 we have 0 0.08 into 10 so we here we are multiplying with 10 so on multiplying a decimal by 10 the decimal point is shifted to the right by one place so then we'll get 0 0.8 next 11th one 0 0.9 into 100 we have 0 0.9 into 100 is equals to on multiplying a decimal by 100 the decimal point is shifted to the right by two places so that is nothing but we'll get 90 0 0.03 into we have 0 0.03 into 1000. 
on multiplying a decimal by 1000, the decimal point is shifted to the right by 3 places. So we will get 3 places means the first place, second place, third place means we will get 30. So the result of 0 0.03 into 1000 is 30. The remaining topics will be covered in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.